Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, guys, we are still going through the grade 11 mathematical literacy paper 2 that was written in November 2022, guys. And in today's video tutorial, we are going to be tackling question uh, 3.1. And question 3.1 deals with measurements, okay? We're going to be calculating the parameter of a rectangle. We're going to be calculating the area of a rectangle. And we're also going to be calculating the volume of this rectangle, right? And we're also going to be doing some conversion where we have to um, convert from centimeters to meters okay so before we get started with today's video tutorial guys please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial guys and also please make sure that you give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks okay so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial Like I mentioned, guys, in today's video tutorial, um, in today's video tutorial, we're going to be tackling question uh, 3.1, and it deals with measurements. Okay, so let's have a look. It says the diagram below shows the floor plan of the living room of the Sukutu family's house. Okay, so we're given that this diagram shows um, the floor plan of the living room of the Sukutu family, right? So we are given here that the length right of this floor of this living room floor is 850 centimeters right and the breadth is 3.5 meters okay we are also given um a cardinal point here right um that basically indicates direction so we see that the north is that way guys and i always say this all right if they already give us the north right it makes it easy for us to determine where is the east where is the south where is the west okay so in this case Case because that is the north right if we move in a clockwise direction we will be able to determine what the east is what is the west what is the south okay so when i talk about a clockwise direction i'm meaning if we move in that direction we will be able to obtain what east by using this is naughty elephant sprays water okay so we move in a clockwise direction to determine those other cardinal uh, points so when i talk about cardinal points guys i'm talking about north i'm talking about east i'm talking about south i'm talking about west those are the cardinal points okay so this is the information that is given to us here right we are also given further information they tell us to study the information below and answer the questions that follow right like i said we already know what the length is right the length is 850 centimeters meters we know what the breadth is the breadth is given in meters and we're also given what the height is right question 3.1.1 says calculate the parameter of the living room in millimeters okay so already here guys we already know at this point how to calculate the parameter because we've discussed that in the previous video tutorial right and i did mention that when we calculating the parameter we are just calculating the total length right around the outline of your shape so that's what we're trying to get when we're talking about the parameter okay however here the catch is when we're calculating this parameter guys we want to calculate this parameter in millimeters okay so now we're also going to use um the methods that i've introduced you guys to in the previous video tutorial on how we basically do our conversions for length okay if you basically look at this vid, um remember when we did question two right i introduced you guys to how you guys are supposed to do your length conversions right when you're moving from kilometers to meters what are we supposed to do i mentioned that we multiply by a thousand when we move from meters to centimeters what do we do we multiply by a hundred when we move from centimeters to millimeters what do we do we multiply by 10 right and then if you're moving from a smaller unit going to a bigger unit you basically divide so you do the inverse 
operation of what we did at the top right so we discussed this when we were doing question 2.3 okay so now we're gonna have to now convert from centimeters to meters and from meters to millimeters so you need to take this uh, method into consideration when we do those uh, conversions because this just makes it simple for you to do your conversions okay so that is exactly what we are going to do okay so now for us to convert or calculate the parameter of the living room in millimeters what do we notice about the units that are given to us right we're given the units of the living room in centimeters so we want to convert first this 850 centimeters to millimeters we want to convert these um this 3.5 meters into millimeters okay by using that method that i showed to you guys okay all right so we're going to start off with 850 centimeters guys we want to first convert that into millimeters and then we want to convert that 3.5 meters into millimeters okay so what happens for us to convert this 850 right from centimeters to millimeters so we are here right from centimeters we want to convert to millimeters so that means that we're moving from the left to the right so we're going to multiply that by 10 okay and whatever answer that we get it will be in millimeters so 850 multiplied by 10 that gives you 8500 millimeters okay so secondly we want to convert that 3.5 meters into millimeters so if we are already here on meters and we want to move to millimeters so what do we do we want to first start off by multiplying it by 100 so we're going to multiply that 3.5 by 100 however what do you notice when we multiply by 100 it only puts us on centimeters okay so for us to get to millimeters we need to then multiply by what 10 again right and when you multiply by 10 that will put us at millimeters so this is just the same as just saying 3.5 meters multiply you actually multiplying by a thousand all right okay so if you now punch that into your calculator you will get that right if you take 3.5 and you multiply by a thousand that will give you 3500 millimeters okay so i was just giving you guys that additional um explanation there so that you guys see that it's actually the same as just multiplying by a thousand okay so we've converted now your 850 centimeters and we've converted now your 3.5 meters now we can calculate the perimeter okay how do we calculate perimeter guys we just add all the lengths around the outside outline of your shape right so we already know that the length now right in millimeters is 8500 millimeters we already know that the breadth in millimeters is 3500 millimeters right what is the length from there to there it is 8500 millimeters what is the breadth from there to there it's still the same 3500 millimeters okay however in this case guys we don't even have to worry about just writing all these values like that because we're given the formula that we're supposed to use to calculate perimeter right and that formula is the perimeter right is equal to two times length plus breadth okay and you're just going to substitute the values that you've obtained um in millimeters so your length we got it to be eight thousand five hundred millimeters plus your breadth we got it to be 3500 millimeters okay then you're just going to punch that into your calculator right when you punch that into your calculator you will get that the perimeter of this living room floor is equal to 24000 millimeters okay and we are basically done all right cool stuff let us have a look at question 3.1.2 okay question 3.1.2 says calculate the area of the floor in meters squared use the formula below right so also here yeah, they've made our lives very easy right we are given the formula that we're supposed to use to calculate the area of the living room floor right and the formula that is given to us right to calculate the area 
of this rectangular living room floor is that the area is equal to, okay, so the area of this rectangle, rectangular floor, is equal to just your length multiplied by breadth. However, they said that when we're calculating now the area, the area needs to be in meters squared. And remember, right, when we were given the dimensions of this living room floor, they were given in centimeters and one was given in meters, okay? So for us to be able to get the area in meters squared, that just means that we can just leave this 3.5 meters as it is, okay, right? And all that we need to do is just convert the 850 centimeters into meters, okay? So we're still gonna use this um, method that I showed you guys here, right? In this case, we wanna move from centimeters to meters, okay? Okay, so if you wanna move from centimeters to meters, we're moving from right going to the left, right? So we're gonna take that 850 centimeters and we're going to do right we're going to divide it by 100 to get our units in meters okay so we're just going to then take okay just going to take just here that 850 centimeters and we are just going to divide it by 100 to obtain what the length is in meters so if you divide by 100 you will get that your length is 8.5 meters okay however you already know what our breadth is in meters it's just 3.5 meters okay so then now we're just going to substitute all these values into our formula what is our length our length is 8.5 meters multiply what is our breadth our breadth is 3.5 meters okay so what do we see now meters times meters will then give you meters squared, okay? And 8.5 multiplied by 3.5, okay, will give you 29.75 meters squared, okay? And we have basically calculated the area of our rectangle in meters squared, right? We're done. Let's have a look at the next question. Question 3.1.3. If a concrete floor, which is... 10 centimeters thick is to be laid how many cubic meters of concrete will be needed okay you may use the following formula our living room actually looks like this right if you had to now picture it in 3d okay because with the drawing that was given to us right the drawing that was given to us was just the how you would see the living room if you looked from the top okay right so here we were just remember we were just given this drawing of our living room that if you were to look from the top then you'd know that okay um the length of this living room i'm just gonna write it in meters it's just 8.5 meters if you just look from the top the breadth of this living room is just 3.5 meters so that's just the top view okay so we are told now that okay in this living room now you want to pour concrete okay right and the concrete that you want to pour into this living room is actually 10 centimeters thick okay but i think it will do us justice to just first con convert those 10 centimeters into meters okay we already know that if you want to convert 10 centimeters into meters guys what are we doing if you want to move from centimeters to a meter, so we are here, right? You're just moving from the right to the left, right? You're going to divide by 100. So you're going to take that 10 centimeters and you're going to divide by 100. And that will give you the thickness of this concrete that you want to pour, okay? And it is 0 0.1 meters, okay? So you want to pour 0 0.1 meters of concrete into your living room okay so if you were to pour this let me help you guys visualize what's happening here right okay so here you want to pour so this is your floor okay you want to pour that thickness let's just call let me just make it a bit more so that you see okay so that's how much concrete you want to pour okay 0 0.1 meters of concrete that's what you want to pour there i'm just helping you see it from the front view right okay that's what you want to pour 0 0.1 meters okay so now what is or how many cubic meters okay when they talk about cubic meters they 
want they're basically saying that when you're now calculating the volume right you want to calculate the volume in cubic meters so in meters cubed so that's what so those are the units for your volume right so when you're calculating your volume you need to ensure that all your dimensions are in meters cubed right so they ask you how many cubic meters of concrete will be needed and you may use the following formula right so you want to determine how many cubic meters what is the volume of uh, the concrete that you will need to pour um, into this floor okay so to calculate that still our lives are made super easy all that we need given is that volume is equal to length okay multiplied by the breadth multiplied by the height okay right and which height are we going to use we already know that yeah since we're calculating the volume of the concrete that you'll need where are you pouring this concrete you're pouring this concrete onto this rectangular floor right what is the length of that rectangular floor it's the length this is the 8.5 okay 8.5 meters multiply what is the breadth of this floor it's that day right Okay, it is 3.5 meters. And what is the height? You're not going to take this whole entire height. You're just going to use the thickness of the concrete that you need, which is that 0 0.1 meters. You just need that. That's what you want to determine, okay? You want to determine how many cubic meters of the concrete will be needed, right? Okay, and that's basically what you're supposed to do so if you punch this into your calculator 8.5 multiplied by 3.5 multiplied by 0 0.1 meters right you will get 2.973 meters times meters times meters is meters cubed so it's cubic meters all right and we are basically done we've calculated now the volume of the concrete that will be needed all right let's have a look at question 3.1.4 it says in which direction does the width of the living room walls face okay so we want to basically determine in which directions does the width of the living room floors face right so remember here we were given these uh, a cardinal point right the north and we we're able then to determine where is the east where is the south and where is the west right uh based on that point that was given to us right so now we want to determine okay in which direction is the width of the living room walls facing okay so some might be a bit confused and say but then we are not given the width guys right the width is the breadth this is your width okay right this is the width this is the width right okay so it's the breadth it's the width same thing okay right so that is the width so in which direction then is the width facing do you see that this one is facing the east do you see that it's in the east direction and then this wall right is facing the west okay so then the width of the living room walls right is facing which direction it is facing the east right because the sun is facing the east and this wall is facing the west and we use now these cardinal points that are cardinal points that I've basically um, added to help us determine that. Okay, so we're just going to say the east and the west. Okay, it is facing the east and the west. All right, and we are basically done, guys, with question 3.1. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video tutorial, and I hope that you guys also took notes of every single thing that I did in this video tutorial because it really is going to help you guys, all right? Take down all these notes that I do with you guys, okay? It will really help you analyze questions better, right? It'll make your mathematical literacy journey so much easier, even in grade 12, okay? So that's it for today's video tutorial, guys. In the next video tutorial, we're going to be tackling question um, 3.2. So please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on for that. And I'll see you guys on my next upload so that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.